Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Scribblenauts Unlimited. Okay, so last time we took on Ampersand Beach as well as, uh, Camel Case Oasis, which I almost read as Camel Toe again, and I think the Tilled Reef. How many more levels do we have now? We got this one, this one, this one, this one, that's four. Looks like, assuming all of these rockets are levels, looks like only seven more to go. Interesting, and I'm pretty sure we have the 50 stars that we need to unlock the last levels. It's weird though, if they are the last ones, like, what does that really mean? Because the whole point of this is that, you know, we're supposed to be redeeming ourselves. It's kind of like, uh, a little bit like Snow White. Is it Snow White that I'm thinking of? No, it's uh, Beauty and the Beast. Like, we've been a dick to the old woman, so she's cursed us with being a beast. Whereas, we've been a dick to someone, I can't remember the story, it's been so bloody long. And they've cursed our sister, so she's turned to stone. So, you know, we're redeeming ourselves. I don't know what rockets have to do with that. I don't know, maybe we're gonna go into space and fight aliens to redeem ourselves, that would be kind of awesome. Anyway, I'm rambling. And yes, as you can probably tell, it's still recovering from the cold, though I do sound much better than yesterday, but still kind of shitty. Okay, let's do this one. The Volcano. I see what you did there, game. I see what you did there. And yes, that's a, a man made of beef who is also bee-like. Not weird at all. Okay, so we got like a tribal person, a weird blob, an evil-looking chicken, a knight, a... Oh, they look like they've been turned to stone, so that must be a cockatrice, right? the hell? Are you a giant? That's a titan. Give me something so I can play fetch with my dog. Uh, What about a human leg? There you go. <laughs> this is a stupid looking leg. <laughs> totally works. That's all kinds of messed up. Right, the dog doesn't have a problem, and what's up with you? Halfling. <laughs> it's Frodo. I forgot what I was supposed to throw in the volcano. You need the one ring. There you go. The ore ring. You need a tame ore ring. As long as it's a ring, that's that should do, right? There you go. Oh god, what the hell? Okay, I thought that thing was trying to murder me. What? Is this... Okay, Frodo flew off on uh, on an eagle. I'm guessing this might hurt. Oh, we can fly over it. Wait, is this a... Oh god, it hurts. Yeah, it definitely hurts. Alright, so the travel man has a quest. Are you a quest? Oh, you are. The hell is that with you? Small pillar, provide the spark of life. Provide the spark of life? What about a lightning bolt? Mr. Lightning Bolt. Really? Lightning? Did I spell it wrong? Or a lagging bolt, sure. Uh, at uh, neither? It's, it's not gonna do it, right? The spark of life. Oh, okay, to the ash. Can I just make it living? There you go. That didn't work. What about uh, a wand? We'll give me a wand, and then we'll try that. Yeah, that's uh, that's the one I expected, and then we'll attack the ash. It works, and the ash wants to fight me now because it's living. That's really creepy. Rusty sword, okay. What up with you, blacksmith? Help me temper this magic sword. Okay, so you need like a hammer or some shit. Can I make you a forge because it's a little bit more interesting? There you go, have a forge. Temper that shit. Really? Oh, fine. Have a comical hammer. I don't know what's comical about it, but there you go. It's giggling. <gasps> Is that Excalibur? Tell me that's Excalibur. Ballistic, spectacular, invincible, golden Excalibur. Yes, yes it is. It's mine. And now, I'm going to murder the one that made it. It's just kind of like Lord of the Rings. What the bloody hell? It, it, wait, what? Eh. The hell? Excalibur turned you into a nuke? And you flew into the sky? What the hell happened, man? You gotta be a cockatrice, right? Yes. Um, so I'm guessing the stone people have a problem. Free us from the cockatrice's petrifying gaze. You need a mirror shield. You need a... Uh, oh, come on, man. What about uh, a reflective shield? Sure. Apparently that... Uh, Okay, that works. I, I am gonna question it. That's a crown. It's not a quest. Why do you still have a quest? My crown is lost in the, oh, my crown is lost in this volcano. Please return it to me. When you get it yourself, you lazy son of a bitch. Fine. Oh god. Um. The hell happened? Oh, that was a pressure plate. Okay, so my sword's stuck there now. I want that back. There you go, buddy. You take that. Okay, pick up the shield, Maxwell. Pick up the shield, and then we'll. Put the shield... I don't know. Right, let go of the damn thing. No, I want the sword! 
Oh god. Um, we need like a box, like right freaking now before I die. Put the box on there. Okay. Uh, what's up with the blob and the Indiana Jones man? Red cinder like ooze. Naturally. Excavator, I struck ooze! Find a way to contain it for me. You need a glass bottle. There you go, champ. There you go. Bottle of that shit. What's up with this? Red cinder like pumice. Again, naturally. Hello, how's it going? Throw dinner inside my cauldron. You need a dead baby. Always a dead baby whenever someone wants something to eat. It turned into a chicken. Of course it did. Of course it did. Right, so, oh. Okay, so we got four more star shells to get here with a bloody hell of it. Oh, we, wait, what? Provide the spark of life. I thought I did that. I guess I didn't? How do I... Water? If we put water on the ashes, is that gonna do it? It burned my water. Oh. Okay, and it turned into a phoenix. Right. Right, so that's a quest. Oh, hello, buddy. Oh, it's, uh, it's like an emo cousin. Leon. Uh, my ray gun needs a colder source of power. Give me something to change my ray gun into a freeze ray. Um, what about some dry ice? It's not quite what I was looking for, but sure. Don't you, don't tell me dry ice ain't good enough. Take the dry ice, you dickhole. Uh, oh, we have to fill it? Yes, okay, that works. Now he's got a, you know what, give me the freeze ray. I did, what the bloody hell are you doing? Give me that, and I'm gonna freeze you. Ice to see you. Chaloots! You know what killed the dinosaurs? That is age! What am I doing? I'm getting distracted here. Alright, so we've got... Ah, oh, there you are. Random bird. It's a Terratorn, naturally. I need to step out, but I can't leave my egg alone. You need a bird-like babysitter. That is some creepy shit. That is some creepy shit. Babysit that. There you go. You gonna give me the uh, the quest achievement? Okay, so one more left. Where the hell are you? A uh, hi hi. Alright, it's not down there. Is it? Oh, there you are, sneaky. You like a Neanderthal? You're a brown dryad. Okay. Uh, this was a terrible vacation spot. Helped me ward off dehydration. Uh, I could freeze you. There you go. Ice is cold, and you know can eventually turn into water. So in theory, it makes sense. Um, help you walk, I don't know. Like, uh, I'm trying to think of something a little bit more imaginative than just, you know, like a water bottle. Gonna make uh, a water gun, and then spray the shit out of you. Yes, yes I can. Okay, so we got all the star shards, let's do the quests. Monster attack, ward off the four horsemen of the apocalypse. That sounds badass. Oh god, my throat's killing me. Actually, everything's killing me. Deter the four horsemen, stop the disaster brought on by Pestilence. Uh, he's the disease guy, right? Yeah, Pestilence, Famine, War, and Death. Um, do you need, like, a doctor? Doctors cure disease? It makes sense, right? Cure that shit. He's actually doing it, okay. <laughs> And he just kills over. It's gotta be death, yeah? He's wet. Death is always wet. Oh, I guess you're war. The disease has passed, but war has brought has broken out. Find a way to stop the war. You need a peace talker? You need a peace taxa? You need a pale taxa. Sure. Tax those people for their war that they're having, and then they won't want to do it anymore because it's expensive as shit. He's not going to do it, is he? Um, negotiator. That's the... That's the word I was looking for. Yes, do it. Okay. They turn into hippies, naturally. You are... I guess you're deaf? It looks like it to me. Anytime. 
The war has ceased, but fa oh, it's famine. Son of a bitch, I'm getting them all wrong. But famine has depleted their food supply, helped by feeding the natives. Oh, you need Jesus. He'll feed you. Oh, you need jeans. There you go. Take some jeans. The hell? Uh, I think I fed the natives by mistake. Yeah, they ate my peace talker. Okay, that works. I realized they were cannibals. And you are quite obviously death. I have a cool looking mask. Despite fiddling their stomachs, death has taken them. Find a way to ward off death by bringing them back to life. You need a defibrillator. Yeah, I spelled it wrong, but at least I got the word right this time. And chugging. Ah, well, let me shock the man. Well, at least it works. And there we go. Story get to her. Okay, one down. One to go. I think it was like a tribal person somewhere over on the right. Damn, we have 68 star rats. That's kind of insane. Also, one from, you know, the magical number. There you are. What's up, buddy? Volcano sacrifice. Help save the village from a volcano that's about to erupt. Sure? Am I gonna sacrifice people? This doesn't seem like a very redeeming thing to do. Then again, not very much we have done has been very redeeming. I have no idea what's going on. The volcano is going to erupt. Help save the shaman's village by sacrificing objects to the volcano goddess right three bounties of earth to throw it into the volcano. Bounties of earth. Oil? Uh, motor oil, I guess? Thank God it's a bounty of earth. Or apparently not. Did it work? There's a bubble? Uh, that might just... What the hell's going on? Um, bounty of earth. Like, water and... Trees? What about trees? Have a tree. That's a bounty? Yes. Okay, tree works. Um... I don't know. A, a spring? That's like a natural water... What the... No, not that kind of spring. Oh my god. A... A... A, a, a creek? Can I make a creek? Yes. Oh, come on, man. That is a bounty of a... Fine, a virgin. There you go. Okay, the version actually works. <laughs> Holy shit, I love this game. Okay, so we put a virgin in there and we put uh, a tree in there. What else? Like a, an animal or something? What about a badger? I don't know why a badger sprung to mind, but sure, a badger. There you go. They were about to give me a clue. I was just taking my time, game. I don't know what I'm doing. Kind of. And then there, there goes the badger. This is why me, man. Maxwell's just a dick. The volcano is too angry. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's some people you just shouldn't help, even if they do have problems. Like, if a serial killer comes up to you and is like, I got a problem, can you hide this body? Helping him hide the body isn't being a good person. D even though, like, <laughs> I don't get it. Maybe it is unhappy with our dependency on technology, try to appease it by writing more sacrifices. Okay, so we got to sacrifice technology. So, like, uh, let's make a cell phone. I, speaking of which, I recently dropped my cell phone in the toilet for the second time in a couple of months. I have a new one now though, because even though the old one's still working, it's it's kind of like old yellow. Like, it needs to be taken behind the shed and just shot in the back of the head, you know? Uh, speaking of which, can we make old yellow? You can't. We can make an old Yodala? Sure. Ah, oh, well, he's burning. It's not a, an appropriate sacrifice. I guess he's not technology. What about a Robosaur? That's technology? Yeah. And what about the last thing? We did a cell phone, we did a rubber store, what about a PC? That's not at all what I was trying to type, but good work, brain. Yeah, and he even hit the rubber saw on the head. It's dying very slowly. Feel like kind of a dick. It's still not dead. The volcano keeps rising. Perhaps the volcano goddess wants a monetary sacrifice, create a donation for the volcano. What about a dollar? Dollar, 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 dollar. Okay. Oh, is that the only thing you want? I thought you wanted like three of them. I think the dollar pissed it off. It's probably the piss poor exchange rate. Should have given it a pound instead. It's worth like twice as much. One or quite. Uh, the offerings did not work. Now the volcano goddess has appeared and is demanding a love interest. Write a mate that she will be happy with. Uh, you like Zeus. 
You can, you can marry Zeus. Come on, baby. There you go. She likes Zeus, and now Zeus is burning in the lava. I'm sorry, Zeus. Well, she saved him. I've just paired off Zeus with a volcano goddess after sacrificing a bunch of technology, one of which still hasn't died, by the way. That thing's resistance. And there we go. Star Raid get to her. Alrighty, let's do one more level, and then I think we will end it there, because i got to go to work soon, and, you know, other stuff. Oh, let's go back to the world map. I think we're done with all of the desert area, and this excites me. Right, so we've got storybook keep, dot the island, oh, it's like dot the eye, and alliteration abyss. Well, we got to go there, that. that just sounds awesome. I mean, it doesn't look like an abyss, it just looks like under the sea, but, you know, under the sea is kind of fun. Makes me want to sing under the sea now, but I'll resist. Submarine that has a quest in a weird scuba diver man and a very creepy looking shark that's asleep. I have a toothache. Give me something to help me take care of my teeth. Uh, you need an... I almost said an orthodontist. Dentist. There you go. I think he's walking. He's taking his bloody time. Can I pick up the shark teeth? Yes, I can. That's really weird. Okay, does this fish have a problem? It's a barracuda. Come on and do the, do the barracuda. And an otter just sitting on what I think is a giant turtle? And that's a kraken? Friendly kraken, a good. You know what? Let's ride that shit. Yeah. Just kraken buddy and me on an adventure. Uh, I swear this is one big aquarium. Create something you would find in an aquarium and I'll show you. Uh, what about a starfish? There you go. Show me. Show, show me, buddy. I gave you a starfish. What more do you want, you son of a bitch? Do I have to hand it to you? Fine, let's make a chocolate starfish. And spell it correct, that would actually help. <laughs> he doesn't want the starfish. Um, aquarium. Goldfish? Oh, God. I just tapped out the game. That's really fucking annoying. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. I reset the recording just to make sure I didn't screw up the rest of the video. That would really suck. Anyway, this guy, I don't know what you want. You want a goldfish? There you go, but what the hell? Because I don't know what I typed. I guess I typed it wrong. There is a goldfish. He is. You are even carrying the. What do you want? I swear there's one big aquarium crate, something you would find in an aquarium. That's what I, I gave you a goldfish and a starfish. Um, what else would you, like, I don't know, like, a, what are those, like a water filter? I, I don't know. What about, like, fish food, maybe? There's a water filter. Okay, that's what he wanted. Son of a bitch. That man was really stubborn. Okay, apparently the hippo has a problem. I haven't evolved to live in the ocean. Help me be more like a whale. Uh, you need to be, like, streamlined. Oh, come on, man. Fine, thin, fast, uh, blubbery. That's actually a word. Uh, thin, fast, blubbery, I don't know, black, white, Michael Jackson, you know, etc., etc. Sure, we'll go with that. Is that good enough? Holy shit, I've created a monster. Uh, you're, like, a ghost? Uh, ghost pirates. Yar. I keep losing my gold coins. Help me find my haunted doubloon. That was the worst part of voice I've ever heard in my life. Partly because I had, you know, still recovering from the cold, but it was partly because I'm really shit at doing pirate voices. I should just do my farmer voice. You've been worrying my sheep. Get off my land. I still can't do it. It's the, it's the cold. Wait, what did you want? I wasn't even paying attention. Something about a doubloon? Uh, help me find my haunted doubloons. Right. I guess we'll have to bring them back to him. Bubble blowing fort, naturally. The hell is that? Kraken, you're too big. Large shoebox. Are they in there? Yes, they are. Pick up. What the hell was that other thing? It's snorkeling fins, naturally. All right, pick up the coin. Okay, and we we'll give it back to Pirate Man. Here you go, Pirate Man. Uh, give. The hell? That's some creepy shit. Okay, so we got six more to go, and then two more quests. Uh, quests are both here. That's handy. Hi. 
Oily Bubbles. That's your name, really? The oil is leaking right something to plug up the vents. Uh, what about like a big plug? Not quite what I was looking for. Works though, apparently. And he even did the star eyed dots. That's mine. Copyright. Get out of here. It's a total biscuit dolphin. Our dolphin family is missing someone. I mean, you know, like a fucking baby dolphin? What else do you need? What about a tiny, uh, hard hat? Put down the baby dolphin. Yes, yes. Really? That's not what you want. You don't want a baby dolphin wearing a hat. Our dolphin family is... What do, I don't know what you want. You're a dolphin. You're a dolphin cuff. Oh, you mean like a female dolphin, right? I think. Sure. Okay. You just want a woman, man. Sailfish. Thought you were a swordfish, but I guess not. I mean, I guess it does have a sail on its back. Holy shit. Okay, um... Stretch chicken down here. Make sure we're not missing any... Uh, is it a whale? An orca whale. Give me something to bring law and order to the ocean. You need a gavel. A gavel. I spelled it wrong. But I got, you know, the general gist of it. That, that's surely what you need to bring law and order, right? What about a nightstick? There you go, use the nightstick. There we go. Now he's, now he's an officer. Naturally. This is a weird game. A very weird game. Right, so the pirate ship apparently has a problem. My ghost ship sink. Help me raise it to the surface. In a big ass balloon. I spelled balloon wrong. It's two hours and two hours, Jason. What the hell are you doing? No, balloon, where are you going? Are you killing my kraken? You fucking dickhole. What did you do that for? What has my Kraken ever done to you? This pirate's an asshole. I helped you. Wow. Right, anyway, raise you to the... I, I don't know. Like a... A... A vent? Air vent? Wow, what the hell? Couldn't have spelled that much more wrong if I tried to try this again. Air vent. There you go. Should I put that down there? Put, put the... Yes, yes. It's raising. It's raising. Is it raising enough? Oh, come on, man. What do you want? Fine. Fine. You want to be like that? Fast, strong, supersonic, uh, dolphin. Wait, rideable. Dolphin. We're going to mount that shit. Then we're going to get our trusty rope. And we're going to put the rope on the bloody boat. Yes, that works, I guess. And then we're going to put it on me. And then we're going to raise the damn thing ourselves. Get out of the way. Get out of the friggin... What the hell? What's going on? I'm not controlling this right now. I'm going to assume this means we've completed the quest. Why are you taking it over there? And why is there a pirate in it now? Were you there the entire time? I guess he was. I guess that was the guy asking for, you know, the help. Why did Maxwell move over here? Dude, you could not be more of the service. What do you want? Finally! Jesus! Now I'm gonna take you back down! Get out of here! <laughs> and there's the gavel that I gave to uh, the orca whale. Uh, what's up, octopus bunny? I'm not quite intelligent enough to get this sardine tin to open help increase my intelligence. Oh, well, I could give you a mortarball, but we always do that. Uh, what else can we do? Like, um, school desk? We can educate him ourselves. There you go, have a school desk. Sit at the score desk. Oh my god. Fine, have a teacher. You have a teacher in the score desk. That should probably help. There we go, he got the sardine. And now he's wearing a top hat. Naturally, everyone likes top hats. Oh. Board glum. Create any mythical beast to be my friend. You need a manticore. There you go. Uh, you do not have... Okay, we're done with them. Let's go do the quest down here. Holy shit, I'm quick. God, God, look at me, gal. Let's do the submarine. Undersea tour. Create exciting scenes for the undersea tourists. Alright, you know, I'll try, but no promises. We're on a submarine tour. The first stop is a shipwreck. Create three objects that would you would find in a shipwreck. Uh, for a start, a dead body. Probably a skeleton, I guess, to be more accurate. Let's put a skeleton there. Yes. Um, 
compass. Wasn't that like what that chick had from the Titanic or something? And uh, a wine glass, because they're always drunk. A wide glass. Yes, container, I guess. Not good enough. Not fucking good enough. What about uh, a music box? That's always, like, you know, like a weird thing they dig up. Oh, God! Ah, uh, the music box may have electrocuted and murdered me under the water. So, note to self, don't do that. Maybe we should make, like, a broken music box. I'm tempted just to not do it now. Anyway, let's get the skeleton back out. And then our compass. So, we need one more. Uh... What else do you find? Like... It's just like random trinkets that people have, right? Like watches, etc. But we were in a compass, kind of like a watch, but you know, for direction. You don't think about it too much. It's a watch for direction, not time. Um, I don't know. What about a, 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 a captain? Yes, he's in the boat. Oh my god. Um, what about like a rubber dinghy? Actually, spelled dinghy right for once. No, that's not right either. Son of a bitch. Fine, a watch. Just take a bloody watch. I don't even care. Finally, Jesus. What do you want now? Now the tourist wants to see some dangerous wildlife. Create two dangerous sea creatures. You need... Well, shark is the obvious one, right? Like, what else is dangerous in the sea? Probably, like, a lot of things. What about, like, a, a, a giant squid? they got to be dangerous, surely. Yeah. Okay, giant... Oh, God, it's murdering people. No, bad squid. Get out of here. And what about, like, a... Uh... Uh... Oh, God, there's, like... What's that prehistoric shark? Like a Megalodon or something? Let's try a Megalodon just to see what it does. That's Mega, not Mego. Yes, there you go. Oh yeah, I made a megalodon. Actually got the name right as well. I have no idea what's going on right now. Now I create two objects for an underwater battle scene that will astound the tourists. Uh, two objects for a battle scene underwater. Like a torpedo or something? Like a torpedo. Sure. Okay. And what else? Like... That's about all I can think of, really. I don't know, a nuke? Have a nuke. There you go. Okay, that works. Let's just make explosive shit, basically. Or weapons, I guess. Oh yeah, there's those uh, weird mine things as well. I'm kind of right in the middle of this. I really hope I don't die. We seem to be fine. Now we've arrived at the ruins of an ancient lost city, although it looks a little plain grade three ancient objects to impress the tourists. Uh, ancient objects, like, uh, Aztec Geld? Aztec? Ain't a word? Come on, man. Fine, acute gold. Don't you dare tell me that golden bar is not good enough. You sons of bitches. Wait, what did you want? Three ancient objects, so, like, um... A sarcophagus? <laughs> I can't think of much else that's, like, ancient. No, don't, don't fly off. God damn, really? It's not even working? Son of a bitch, man. What about like an old woman? That's an ancient object. Oh, come on. Uh, well, I'm really stumped on this one. What about some ruins? That's ancient. Okay, that's just totally cheating, but sure. So we made ruins, uh, two more ancient objects. Oh god, my nose is so itchy. Stop it. Bad nose. Don't sneeze. Don't do it. Give me a clue. A lost city would have ancient landmarks. Sure. Well, like a pair. Do you want a pyramid? I spelled that completely wrong. <laughs> uh, yes, pyramid landmark. Exactly. Okay. Uh, what else? Like, I could do a sphinx. It's kind of boring. What about the Eiffel Tower? I don't know how to spell any of this shit. I don't know how to spell Eiffel Tower. Doesn't seem to be in here anyway. Um, what about like a, I don't know, a tower? Just make a tower. No? Not good enough? It's not a landmark to you. What about a giant globe? That could kind of be a landmark. Oh, come on, man. So you need landmarks? Oh, God, this is like a real pain in the dick. Like, they want very specific things, quite clearly. 
Um, we did ruins, we did a pyramid. Sphinx is really the only other thing that springs to mind that would likely be in here, so the structure? If I can put it down anywhere at all. Okay, there you go. We, it's, it's, it's underwater Egypt, apparently. I guess it could have made like a, a Roman Colosseum or a pillar or something now. I think about it. Okay, well, anyway. Let's, let's go get our starrets. There we go. Okay, so I think we have one more quest left to do here. And you know what? I actually kind of want to try and make a Roman Colosseum. So let's do that very quickly just to see if it actually lets me. Roman Colosseum. Really? I don't know how to spell that either. Man, I suck at spelling. Apparently, Roman is also not a word, so we'll make a Royal Colosseum. Sure. It's got a crown, naturally. Alright, so where was the last quest over here? Why do I recognize that? The food chain. Help the scientists by creating a food chain for them to study. Not entirely sure what you're asking here, but hopefully we'll get a bit more of a clue than that. Help the scientists start a food chain. First create an energy source for life. Like bacteria? Kind of, if you don't think about it too much. Okay, bacteria are not going to work. It just was for life. What about a battery? Sure. It's a Duracell. Oops. Maybe you just like... <laughs> How does that work? Like, why does a battery electrocute all of us? It's just a fucking Duracell. I mean, I've never dropped one in the water before, but I doubt it would electrocute you. Like, maybe if it was in something? Okay, so you need an energy source for life. Uh... You like carbohydrates? You need carbon paper. Carbon paper not gonna do. Energy source for life. Materia? Oh god damn it. Materia? Uh we can make the mafia. Sure. <laughs> I don't know what they want. I really know. Oh what about like um like a seed or something? That's like, you know, where life starts kind of. They turn into a, a flower, but uh, okay, so what's like, I, I don't, I, I don't, like a, a proton, I gave you a proton, neutron, neuron, you have a proton and a neuron, do you want Jimmy Neutron, he'll probably know what to do, Jimmy Neuron, Jimmy Neuron, I have no bloody idea what you want, none whatsoever, we're about to get a clue though. So I guess we'll just wait and, uh, and and just do that. I don't think I've ever had to use this many clues before. Where does the energy for all life on Earth come from? The fucking water? That's where we are. I swear to God, if I can make water in the water and this works, I'm going to be very disappointed. Okay, you're lucky. You take that shit. Um, Like the sun? The, the sun? The sun? We're in the water. What the hell? I didn't even question it. It works, I guess. That's some weird shit, man. That thing looks dead as hell. Next, create a life form at the bottom of the food chain that can use that energy. What the actual hell is going on? Uh, bottom of the food chain, uh, like a shrimp? It's kind of at the bottom of the food chain? Oh, come on. Bacteria? Try back to try fucking no, the bacteria work that time, didn't it? Now there's bacteria everywhere. Creepy, very creepy. Now great, a vegetarian animal in the food chain that, to feed on the aquatic plants. Apparently, I've already done that because I made a shrimp. That's handy. See, I got like the general gist of what's going on here, right? It's just the very first one being the fucking sun or something similar. Didn't really see that one coming. Finally, great, a predator at the top of the food chain that can eat anything. Man! Oh, come on! What about like a, a dip? Diplodocus. Which is really hard for me to type, apparently. Oh, okay, I guess it's a vegetarian. I don't bloody know. Uh, so Diplodocus. T Rex? Really? T Rex? Uh, really? Uh, Tyrannosaur. Oh, God. Tyrannosaur. Us Rex. A Tyrannus Rex. No, it's my cousin Rex. That's not good enough. Can I burn you on the sun? 
No, I can't. Uh, top of the food chain, I don't know, like a shock or something? It's kind of boring, but that's what I can really think of. Apparently so. Well, here we go. That was an incredibly specific quest, but whatever. Give me that shit. Alrighty! I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I always appreciate it. I'll like it. I will see you next time for more Scribble Scribblenauts Unlimited.